The International Humanitarian Partnership, IHP, supports international organizations when disaster strikes. IHP runs Exercise Triplex with the purpose of training our own staff as well as making an environment available for regional and international partners to train both response and coordination in large disasters. The film you're about to see is about Triplex, and Triplex 2013 is based on a hurricane. The hurricane first made land on the east coast and then continued its path across the border region. The hurricane has caused extensive damage in Norland and Sudland. The initial water level after the passage of the hurricane is reported to be between two and three meters above surface level. Human and animal corpses are floating in the water. The scenario is in place. Within this scenario, led by the IHP, 200 exercise participants trained cooperation and coordination over four days. We actually are expecting a lot. Um, we are expecting to have a good cooperation and exercise for the, with, the, with the humanitarian um, uh, uh, aid workers and the civil protection uh, participants. It's, uh, it's a unique opportunity to train uh, these uh, activities before the real emergency. Is there any problem? Uh, of course, I shit under the bush, okay. you know, for yes. three days. Oh, it's my God. The last three days. You've no, seen nothing. a lot of UN people, a lot of people from EU. Oh, yeah. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. what have they done? I'm not sure where they're from, but they drive around with big fancy signs and no one is coming here. She's gonna give back. The baby is gonna come out now. Shall, shall she come out now? Here, huh? And, and the water, huh? Next, next to all the, the shit that is here? No. No, that is not good. What are you actually going to do? And when? Uh, we have to report this back to our uh, class. I think those issue. people are reporting, pretty... Reporting, reporting. That's all you do. Reporting, eh? Eh, 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 eh. We're here. We're here. We see nothing. A okay. lot of reporting, less action. Or what? Um, she we have just come to know about this. So, uh... Two days up to the exercise, a row of workshops have been carried out, including sessions on echo civil protection. Additionally, topics such as assessment, coordination of the relief work and cooperation are also covered. It's, uh, it's good to know to be other people before to go to emergency. It's good to uh, know the mandates, uh, who is doing what in, in real life. That helps you to know your own role and who is doing what, and then you can focus to your own role, and, uh, and, and, and then you see the uh, big picture of the, of the emergency uh, community. Plastic bag from potatoes. Plastic bag in the car. She's dead. Check his mouth. Is he breathing? Oh. Okay, Petra. What about the black car who's standing over there? <laughs> Do you think you're able to walk? Can you walk? Go there, knock us Maybe. Okay. Do you have it? I'll try to get her to walk. The IHP countries support international humanitarian organizations, especially the UN, as well as the EU, with a number of tools. These are various types of support, such as accommodation, office facilities and ICT for the EU Civil Protection Team and UNDAC. Triplex is an excellent opportunity for the IHP countries, the EU, the UN and others to train and test these tools as well as practical cooperation. IHP is carrying out the triplex exercise to train and test coordination structures and give the humanitarian community a framework where they can test and train their coordination structures. The exercise is kept as realistic as possible. The participants will go through border and custom procedures on their way on site. 
The exercise will in general be like a real disaster situation. An Operation Coordination Center, or OSACS, will be established in both Germany and Denmark. We um, will know what things we can eliminate, yeah. so we can really break it down to something practical, yeah. useful, and something that can help us make decisions. Uh, yes. The big thing on our point for us is that we need people to have similar data gathering, you know, yeah. so we can compare apples and apples. There is participation from United Nations, NGO, the Red Cross, Echo Civil Protection and CIMIC, as one of the goals is to strengthen the knowledge of each other and to network. Uh, the Red Cross has decided to participate in the Triplex uh, for various reasons, but the, the main one is that we're actually learning a lot. We are uh, both networking with all the others, but there's always new uh, developments within the, the humanitarian world, so it's also a learning opportunity for all of us. Uh, and in this way, it also helps us coordinate better with external actors and have more efficient coordination. The participants live, sleep and eat here at the base camp. Uh, it's a great inspiration to live in a base camp like this one. Uh, it's a great facility and that also means that our people are rested uh, because they have a proper place to sleep, they can take a shower, they can be fed, they can rest. Uh, and that's really important when you're out in a, an emergency because it's, it's tough and uh, you need to rest also. When the exercise is all over, lessons will be collected and a lessons learned procedure will start. We are identifying on this Triplex 2013 gaps and rooms for improvement for the IHP services and additionally we give the whole humanitarian community a framework to test their coordination structures, identifying gaps, possible gaps and close these gaps to increase effectiveness and efficiency for future real-life emergencies. I think it's been a tremendous learning experience for people. I think there's uh, been lots of mistakes, lots of learning points and lots of good work as well. I think uh, people can learn from each other a lot from what's happened here. What is the first thing coming to your mind? A lot of work, lesson learned, yes. It's, uh, it's always good to practice. I learned the importance of partnerships, importance of working together for a common goal and uh, uh, that we are all, uh, there's, uh, there are things that we can do uh, and if we are all together we can do much more and uh, in a much more coordinated and effective manner. You said, uh, you said before that um, it's a very well organized exercise. How do you see that? How do you identify that? Well, all the facilities are there, uh, all the papers about the situation and, and uh, what they have written uh, about the situation give a, uh, a lot of work, so uh, we all have a lot to do and that's the key point of an exercise, I guess.